Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside this video, I want to show you a really simple and amazing trick I came across for fixing fuzzy, hazy footage inside of Premiere Pro. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so here's the situation. I was filming a wedding a couple of weeks ago and the bride's side of the aisle unfortunately was staring directly into the sun and I had a polarizing filter on my camera and without realizing it, that light was actually coming into the filter and kind of refracting around and I lost a lot of contrast. Now I could go into Lumetri Color here by going to the window, workspace, color and taking my contrast, I can move that way up. I can take my highlights down, my shadows up, Take my blacks down a little bit, my whites up. And that's better, right? But it's still not great. I'm still lacking some contrast. A way that I found that you can actually kind of enhance that is with the clarity effect if you're in Lightroom or Photoshop. But unfortunately, Premiere Pro doesn't have it. So I went on a quest to figure out, okay, how can I add this clarity effect? Does it exist in Premiere Pro? And it turns out it does if you use a little tool called the Unsharp Mask. So we're going to drag that onto our clip and you'll see it's right below Lumetri color here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our radius and we're going to turn it way, way up. Now this effect is going to be super exaggerated so you can see it to start and then we'll dial it in. So if I take that up way to say 50, you'll see that all of a sudden we have all this extra contrast because Unsharp Mask is looking for the lines of contrast, the very large ones, and it's enhancing them with a radius of 53 at this point. So 53 pixels are getting kind of sharpened and the contrast lines are getting exaggerated. So you can see right away we have this pop in the image. Now obviously this is way way too much. It's not subtle at all so what we're going to need to do is blend it back in. So let's take that amount and dial it back to say like 15. Enough that we can notice it's happening but not that you can actually see those weird kind of lines that are going on. So let's turn that on and off off and on rather. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to double up that effect. We're going to take another unsharp mask. We're going to drag that onto our clip. We're going to take the radius up, but not to 50 this time, say maybe to 32. Okay, so we're just going to slowly kind of dial this in a little bit at a time until such a time that we kind of have things where we want it. So we'll dial that back, maybe even a little bit smaller radius, maybe 25. Perfect. This isn't an example of the perfect grade. It's just an example of how you can really get rid of that haze and add more contrast to your image when you run out of contrast or where contrast, just regular contrast, isn't doing enough. So we're going to take this and maybe down here. And you have to wait for Premiere to load. But we will zoom in here and I'll just show you before we did anything to this footage and after. And again, here is before the unsharp masks were added and after. So you can see it really brings a pop to the image and kind of dehazes things without actually um, adjusting things so much. Now, the problem with this method is that you can see that my timeline down here is red. It's showing me, well, you're not going to be able to play this back, Ryan, because we have some really intensive effects going on. If I try to play it back, well, you'll see it's not super helpful. And that specific frame might have looked good, but other frames might be too much, right? Now, I'm going to show you an even simpler way that you can add contrast to your image. And this one blew my mind. I found this tip uh, from Gerald, Gerald Undone on YouTube. You should check him out. Uh, he was just saying, you know what you can try is you can actually use the blend modes rather than a bunch of effects. And so I was like, okay, we'll give that a shot. We'll kind of mess around, see what we can come up with here. So I'm going to delete all of these unsharp masks. Okay, here's our raw footage. The first thing we need to do is hold Option and drag this clip right above. So we have a duplicate of the same clip, exact same spot in the timeline. Now what we're going to do with this top clip is we're going to blend it using the opacity modes here, blend modes. We're going to use those. But first, we're going to need to turn this clip to black and white. So we'll drag that on there and then we're going to need to invert it. So we're just going to go in here and look for our channel invert, which is right down here, and drag that onto our clip. Okay, now we have this really strange looking thing, but trust me here, when we grab our blend mode, things will start to make sense. We're going to drag blend mode and we'll select here, subtract, okay? And now you'll see we have all this crazy amount of contrast in this clip. So we can go down here, grab the opacity, and just sort of adjust things in. So you'll see 
Here's before that clip and after. Isn't that crazy? We've just added that. And the best part about this is it's going to play back just fine. Premiere's not going to have a problem at all in playing this back. And if we compare it to our earlier example, here's the unsharp mask versus our subtract blend. You can see how much more natural one looks than the other. This one looks like it's just over-processed a little bit when compared to this one, because this one has no actual effects going on. We're just using the blend modes to do the work for us. Now we can take this and sort of tweak it from here so we can go to our original clip, grab our exposure maybe, turn that up a little bit, take our highlights down, kind of do the same thing that we did with the other clip. Contrast, put that in there maybe a little bit. Grab our whites down, blacks up something like this, and then do the same thing up top here. So we'll grab our blend mode. And again, this is not an example of the perfect grade. It's just an example of kind of me figuring things out on the fly and showing you exactly what's possible if you start to use these blend modes. So you see that it's kind of counterintuitive with your top layer. It's kind of the opposite of what you do is what happens. So if I take the exposure down, it's going to brighten the image. If I take the exposure up, it's going to darken the image because it's in subtract. So it's going to subtract from whatever's going on, if that hopefully makes a little bit of sense. So we can kind of stick with things about there. And then if you'd like, I found kind of the best way forward is we take these two clips, rather than have two in the timeline, we can just nest them together. And on top of this nested sequence, then we can tweak things even further. So we can grab some extra exposure and some contrast, take our highlights down maybe a little bit, shadows up. You can just mess around to your heart's content, but now you can play back things in the timeline just fine, and you'll have a far more natural looking effect. Of course, I say that as this is just looking way, way too far, but you hopefully understand the technique involved. This is not an example of the perfect execution, simply how you can use blend modes inside of Premiere Pro to get rid of haze and contrast lacking film inside of your footage. Okay? So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button for me. Subscribe. If you have a better method, make sure to let me know in the comments below because I, like you, am always trying to improve. And I will see you in the next video.